um thank you so much for coming this week i appreciate you taking the time and for those who watched my video last week thank you and for those who have left their comments i read all of them i actually do all of them thank you so much for taking time to watch my videos not only doing that but you also commented on them thank you and those that are you know watching me for the first time hi join us subscribe <laughs> it's one of the things yeah we don't care just subscribe no no i don't mean that like welcome like seriously though welcome um i'm so happy that you're here um so one of the things that i wanted to do today um actually have recorded this video for months like i've had this for about six months because i think yeah it's gonna be six months next week <laughs> but um this is actually our video for anniversary in a sense that it talks us it talks it talks clearly english is not my first language or shawambo is if you see me in a shawambo woo, and i'm sure you're thinking nah lolo you need to speak to us in a shawambo ewane okay see okay video i can't take with the paper see but i'm i can't just <laughs> speak in a shawambo and all those that you know don't understand one here so i'm trying so that everybody else can hear okay okay t <laughs> anyway i was saying that um i have a video and i've had it for a couple of months and i've been so hard on myself because i was like oh my gosh they're gonna see me they're gonna judge me and i'm gonna think oh my gosh um but i realized that you know what um it doesn't matter what people think about you because somebody once said what other people think about you is none of your business <laughs> so i would go with that but um it's something that i've always wanted to share but um i've always been kind of nervous to share it i don't know why i think it's kind of funny but at the same time you get to really see me in my own zone at the same time you also get to see my husband a little bit he's very serious and very witty at the same time he has a very uh weird yet i get his sense of humor but i would feel like one but i love his sense of humor he is completely hilarious so you get to see my son my husband as well and see what kind he is kind of things he's into or what kind of person he is <laughs> so yeah um you get to see that and get to see um how we met get to hear rather how we met and our story and getting married and just a little bit about us and who we are so that's exciting don't judge me okay <laughs> if you want keep it to yourself but anyway let me know your thoughts and comments and everything that you think about so i've had this and i'm finally sharing it with the world because i've had a couple of one person actually not a couple you know when you say a couple of people one person actually asked me no somebody else actually requested not requested but long story short somebody has asked me to share a video about us and i finally did and i recorded it so here it is um we celebrated our anniversary on the 16th of may so that's exactly i think that's the day we did it. i don't know but we did or well, the week all oh, the week it was the week long story short i hope you enjoy it and i'm not gonna do this i don't want to drag it on for so long i can't wait for you guys to see it right now and i hope to see you next week so have a fantastic week <laughs> bye we're doing an anniversary um thing justin and i we have turned okay that's part of the question so i cannot say it right now but yeah this is the tag that we wanted to do earlier <laughs> can you see how excited he is i'm overflowing with joy <laughs> the last time i was interviewed like this was in a police chair <laughs> and look at how he already <laughs> has this we're gonna play this right now honey but that's okay i want to see my lawyer <laughs> So we wanted to do a couple of questions so you can get to know us a little bit of who we are. Um, so yeah, um, just a little bit who we are and what we do. We have a couple of questions and we're going to play a game that's so excited. I'm so excited. Like, <laughs> I'm the one who gets to do all the excitement for the both of us. So that's kind of awesome. A little bit of who we are. Um, I'm gonna start off. My name is Moini. Um, Moini Raymond. <laughs> um, What's because... your middle name? My middle name is Dapandula. I am from Namibia. Uh, yes, I'm Can from... Can you state your full name for the jury? Okay, my name is Moini Raymond. No, Moini Dapandula Dahalele Raymond. Dahalele was my maiden name, so yeah. I'm from Namibia. Um, I love it. I'm from the land of the brave. Um, I've been born, born, born and raised in Namibia my whole life until I got married to this amazing man. Your turn. My turn. My name is Justin Michael Raymond. No maiden name. Uh, 
I was born here in Idaho, in America, and okay. Okay. Next um, question. How have you met? How did you meet? You want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. Oh, okay, my version. Well, it was. These two it was versions. a dark night. It was a very dangerous war all around us. I'm just kidding. We were, we were serving in Kenya. And I got called to train another missionary. And we went to the mission president's house for dinner, which was awesome because I just came from the boondocks in the mountains, from the bush. And so I was excited to have like some food that wasn't, you know, old meat or beans. And then I saw her walk through the mission president's door along with my companion, but she was like one of the first things I saw. One of the only things I remember. And that was how I met Lenny. Isn't that adorable? Uh, um, so we met when we were on, um, we, we LDS and um, we serve missions. And one of the good thing about that, you get to travel wherever. And I was called to serve in Kenya. Um, didn't expect to meet anything. I was just going out there to serve God and you do it for men It's two years and for women it's 18 months and um, I went there and the first thing that I met is this hot red-headed guy And I was like, oh my goodness, but he was so good. I was like right now. Really? She thought is I this... was a genetic malfunction <laughs> That's nice to know. Thanks for telling me But I still love you and I just really, really liked him because it was love at first sight. And I was like, I didn't expect to fall in love here. Not here, not right now. But it happened and it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, we got married later though. We didn't date while we were mission. We got to know each other. But um, he came to Namibia, I think, when we both finished our mission. I think that was 18 months later. And he met my family. And we got married. And no, he proposed. He asked for my parents' hand in marriage. And then, yeah. So I wanted to ask you, how was your Namibian experience having the wedding in Namibia? Because we had a wedding in Namibia, and we have another wedding in here in the States. How was that experience for you? Ah, my Namibian wedding experience. See, here in Idaho, you have a wedding, you get married in the morning, you have like a luncheon with just close family and friends, and then you have like a reception for a couple hours, and everybody goes home. <laughs> My Namibian experience was a week of, well, a week of, week of eating nothing but meat and mm. porridge. Yeah. Meat and porridge. Porridge and pop. It's pop, honey. Pop. Yeah. Meat and pop. And uh, meeting a whole bunch of people that I don't remember. And you know what gets me is sometimes she'll be like, oh, hey, you remember that one person when we were meeting those people and there's that one person? that That's who I'm talking about. And I'm like, I don't remember anybody. Remember that one aunt that said she was going to come, you know, when we met her at the wedding, she said, I don't know. It was such a great experience, though, I feel. Um, I was one of my cousins, um, no, one of among my cousins, I was the first one to get married. So it was a huge family celebration. And they loved the redhead. I think that was a wonderful experience. <laughs> it was just wonderful to um, experience that. You know how when you get married, it's about the bride and how awesome she looks? No, it's about the awesome redhead. Again, it had to be the redhead. And I don't know why, but he really, it was, I really, really enjoyed it. And I think it was a wonderful celebration for my family. When we came here, it was much more relaxed. It wasn't as dramatic. We had the fireworks. It was really, really wonderful. But... I loved it. I loved our wedding experience. I really think it was wonderful. We have been married for... Four. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We were married for, for four years. We just got married for four years. Well, not just got married, but we've been married for four years. We've celebrated our anniversary this week, and it was so, so nice. I was like, oh, I can't believe we're married for four years, and we have two little people. So it's been really, really nice. Two regrets. <laughs> do you love being married? I do enjoy being married. What is it that you like being married? I mean, enjoy being married. What are some of the things that you like about being married? Oh man, 
What do I like about being married? I enjoy eating meals together, or cooking meals together, or when you cook me meals. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have to eat. Um, I don't know what else I like. I enjoy being able to go out and do things with my best friend. And I also enjoy not having to always worry about like going out and dating. Like, I, I don't have to be that guy that's going out on a Friday night. Like I have to do my hair. I gotta iron my shirt. So do you have to do that I for gotta... me right now? No. Aww. I do it for you though. Do you? But of course I do. I look cute, girl. I look cute, honey. You do. You do. He doesn't want to have that. <laughs> the lipstick. Anyway, um. I love being married. I love having my best friend with me. I love, he's my favorite part of every day. He makes me very happy. He, he's amazing. Um, he's my most favorite person in the whole wide world. Talking about him since I was making me cry, but mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. So Even we're gonna play. the blankets. <laughs> So now we're gonna play a game. I'm super excited about. So we are gonna ask each other a couple questions, and we have the him and me. If it's me, I'm gonna, you know, say me. If it's not, then uh, it's gonna be him. I'm really excited. So you can get to know a little bit about who we are and what we like and what kind of things that we are up to all the time. So I'm gonna ask the questions. The first question is, who is more romantic? You think I'm romantic? Well, you think about it more. <laughs> yes, I think about it more. But I think he's much more of an action kind of person. Yeah, actions speak louder than words. <laughs> yeah, he's one of those people who go out and buy me roses. But I'm, I think I'm all of, I make a romantic kind of dinner and do that. I don't do it as often, but I think he's one of those who really thought like, hey, honey. You suggest romantic things. <laughs> I'm, and very... I'm thinking, I just brought you flowers. What more do you want? <laughs> so yeah, he's, I think he's way more romantic than I am. So, Okay, who is the best at surprises? Yeah, he is. Um, I really... She sucks at surprises. <laughs> I can't even mention that I'm going to give her a surprise because then it will never end. So he just do it. I love surprises and sometimes I always interrogate him. Like, hey, honey, what are you doing? So he, he stops telling me, which is okay. I wish I was more at doing surprises, though. I'm going to work better at it. I'm going to do better. Who is the best cook? Are you kidding me? No, no, you're not. Are you a better cook? <laughs> yeah, but really though, is that your, your your honest answer? I don't know. Will I sleep in the doghouse? If I <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but honestly, she okay, makes good food. Very, very delicious, a spicy, flavorful. But I make my favorite. Food. <laughs> So we're at a point where like I love a lot of spices. Justin is more of a salt and pepper. I love all the I like a lot of the natural flavors. Ah, I love spices everything. You add is <laughs> he doesn't like that. So we come to a point, especially when it comes to our steaks, he prefers it very normal. I love mine with the garlic, the spices from Namibia. You put it together. Woo! Okay, so I'm more of a so now what does that mean? We are both good cooks in our own ways. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. I guess that's what. Who was the first to say I love you? It feels like you winning the game. So good thing it's not one of those that you win. But... Oh, are we winning? Who do I win? <laughs> Honestly. Is it a competition? <laughs> no. Can I he... pick what we have for dinner? <laughs> See what I mean. Anyway, so he's um, one to say that he loves me. And from there on, he never stopped saying it. And it took me a while because I was like, okay. But he knew what he wanted and he loved me and I thought that was I good. wasn't taking no for an answer. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Whoa, okay, yeah, but you are so nice though. And he didn't use the L U V word, he's I love you, L O V E, U Y O U. I love you. I love you. Games. Yeah. yeah, he's a very serious, you know. I, I always thought you were kind of quiet guy, so it's like he's never gonna tell me that he loves me, but he's very really upfront when he wants something, goes for it clearly. Anyway, um, <laughs> this is funny. Who who was the first to fart in front of the other person? He says it's me, but I don't really know. But I think I probably would have. Namibia. <laughs> August really? 2013. Stop it! No! That is like the basics, honey. That you know when you're trying basics. to... <laughs> that sorry. was before you even proposed. <laughs> I started thinking to myself, <gasps> no. <laughs> no, it's not too late to back out now. No, Justin. But I wasn't going to back out. You love me that much. A little bit of flatulence <laughs> wasn't going to stop me. Don't let it stop. That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> I can't remember that you remember the month. Thank goodness you remember the date, but that's okay. I just remember it was the first time I went to um, Who is the funniest? Oh, honey, please let's be honest. Please, please. Why would you say you're more funny? You, you think you're more funny? I make people laugh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he really does. Um, that's one thing about our relationship. We have crazy sense of humor. We laugh all the time. We will have a disagreement and we throw in some jokes. <laughs> and we start laughing. Um, I'm really, really funny, I think. Even if you have to say so yourself. Even <laughs> if I... <laughs> clearly, you are funny. Clearly, every man for themselves here. We are all just aiming for every man for themselves. I think he's funny. I think he's really witty funny. He always has the funniest... Um, what is this? Um, things that you get from your Facebook account. Memes. Memes. He always has the funniest... I'm funny. a meme dealer. He's... <laughs> If you follow Justin on Facebook, all he does is just, his whole Facebook is all about memes and what's funny. So I think that's really funny. Who is a better driver? Woo! <laughs> he took both of them. Yeah, and he's like, and I was like, do you really need this, this answer? Like this question, he's like, yeah, yeah. We need it, just because he wanted to be. He's a, be he's a better driver, but I think under stress, I'm a better driver. Because when I drive, remember when we were driving the other time? We were... Let's be honest here. <laughs> when I'm driving and she... Never mind. <laughs> we leave that discussion there. Anyway. Who says... I'm a better driver. <laughs> who says sorry after... Who says sorry first after a disagreement? Yeah, he's much... I feel like I'm terrible. Like, I'm really awesome here, but he's much more of a better person than I am, I think. Um, whenever we have a disagreement, he always says sorry. I'm usually the first to say sorry. Then and, again, I'm usually the first to uh, be the dingbat anyway. So. Yeah, so why not? <laughs> if you put it that way. Yeah, he's he's a good, good person. He always says sorry. This one is a very, very close to my heart. Next question. Next question. Who is... The best dancer. Hey, I heard you were a wild one. Ooh, I also took you home and be a wonder. Show me how you do. I want to sit down in the club with you. Hey, I heard you like a wild one. Forward. Um, let's move forward, please. Let's move forward. <laughs> we already answered the question. <laughs> moving forward, moving forward. <clears throat> Who is the most attractive? That's an honest answer. Mm -hmm. He's the hottest man alive. Hey, look! 
<laughs> Did you see the wink? <laughs> Woo! Moving forward. Yeah, Mo yeah. Wow. I'm telling you, it's hot in here. It's hot. Ah. Oh. Really is hot in here. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> okay. Who has the biggest sweet tooth? Yeah. He loves the sweet stuff. I like my stuff. I love my Carrie Ann, but Justin loves. He would have like cereal for dessert. <laughs> oh God, the middle of the night and have all this candy. But he likes his sweet stuff. One last question. Why does it have to be this last one? Oh my goodness. Okay. Who says I love you more? You? What? You what? What is it? You say I love you more? Yeah. I don't think so. He does. He says I love you more than anybody else. And sometimes it's kind of overwhelming because we'll have a disagreement about something. And then not only does he say sorry, and then he says I love you. And you're like, oh. And I, I love you too. You know when you're angry, there's a ball in your, <laughs> your throat. Do you ever have that ball in your throat where you're like, ah, I don't want to say it, but I have to. Because but I'm when so I say I love you. Oh, when mm -hmm. you say you love me, you love me? I say I love you. It's because I love you. I get the ball in my throat when I have to admit I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's a little bit about us. Which doesn't happen very often. No, you, of course. Of course. Of course. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of who we are. Um, thanks for... Is there anything that you would like to say to somebody? Like, advice for people getting married? People getting married? People getting married or people in couples. Oh, oh, people in couples. Or oh, couples, for instance. Marriage is about equality oh, and that's... sharing the blanket equally. <laughs> Clearly. Um, but I think that um, marriage is a beautiful thing if you guys get each other, um, you understand and come together. Um, I've learned a lot about myself um, through marriage. I learned a lot about him. And I think even before we got married, I think um, I've fallen deeper and deeper in love with him now than I was before, before we got married. So I think it's wonderful. Um, if you find somebody that you love, go for it and see how it goes. But really see what you're looking for and what they have and make it work. I think it's making it's all about making it work. And it's not just on love, but I think um, it's built on God. You know, your faith is built on um how much you care for each other and making it work and making those sacrifices for each other and sharing the blanket mm. sharing the blanket is very very important mm. and so yeah so yeah you got to know a little bit about him it's awesome a little bit about me a lot about me actually but that's okay so yeah thanks for watching bye bye